In this video we are going to walk you through the various modes available in the CSX C536X heart rate monitor and demonstrate setting up the training watch for a workout. In the previous videos we have set up the training watch and synced the chest belt to the training watch. So if you have not done that yet refer to the previous videos. We have previously set up the training watch in pro user level. In pro user level there are five main function modes available as well as eight sub-function modes in the heart rate pulse mode. The five function modes are time mode which you can see here. If we press the mode button, heart rate pulse mode, so you can see my current pulse, stopwatch mode, countdown timer, and the alarm mode. If we press the mode button again it takes you back to the time. There are also eight sub-function modes available in the heart rate pulse mode. So if we press the mode button again back to the heart rate pulse mode you can see at the top it's displaying time so that's the first sub-function mode so we have time at the top in the middle is my current heart rate and at the bottom it displays a percentage which is 41% of my current maximum heart rate. So if I now press the select button, the next sub-function mode is the stopwatch or training timer. So you can see that at the top. If we press select again, this shows the time when you were within, above or below the training zone of your workout. So after this video I'll go and do a workout and then I'll show you this data. We press the select button again it says memory and this will show your highest, lowest and average heart rate of your workout. Press the select button again. This is the training zone section. So this is where you set your target heart rate while training. And currently this is in the user defined training zone. We'll set that up in a moment. Press the select button again, this is fitness level, and this is where you time your recovery rate. So this can be really useful for checking your current fitness level and making sure you're not overtraining. Press the select button again, it shows the calories burnt. Select button again, the fat burnt, and the select button again takes us back to the time. The best way to learn these functions is to show you a practical example. I am 38 years old and want to increase my top end fitness with a fast 20 minute run. You can read the CSX Heart Rate Monitor Training ebook for training ideas and using different training zones to achieve your fitness goals. We are going to set the countdown timer for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of running in one direction, the alarm will beep and I will then turn round and run back to the starting point to complete a 20 minute run. To ensure we are running at a fast pace and to increase our top end fitness we are going to use training zone 3 which sets our heart rate training range between 80 to 95 percent of our maximum heart rate. You could even use the custom zone to make fine adjustments to the training zone suitable to your own fitness level. Before we begin running we will also start the exercise timer in the heart rate pulse mode so that we also store the data in the memory to recall after we complete the run. I will talk you through each of these steps in detail as we configure the training watch. So here are the steps to set up the heart rate monitor before we go for a run. First we will set up the countdown timer. So press the mode button that's stopwatch and this is the countdown timer. First of all I will show you how the countdown timer works. You press the set button to start the countdown. So you can see it's counting down from 30 minutes. Press the set button again to stop the countdown. Press the set button again to restart the countdown. 
three seconds before the countdown reaches zero, an alarm sounds which ends after a few seconds. Or it can also be ended by pressing the select button. If we just press the set button to stop the countdown, and then if we press the select button, this resets the countdown to the original set countdown time. So it's back to 30 minutes. And if you wish to start it again, then you can press the set button again. Let's set the countdown to 10 minutes. So we'll press and hold the set button for approximately 3 seconds. The hours now flash and we'll set the hours to 0 using the select button. So the select button changes the value. This is already at 0 so I'm going to press the set button and we're now going to change the minutes. So we'll press the select button to change the value. I'll press and hold it. And I've set that to 10 minutes. If I press the select button, you'll see it goes back to the hours. So to store this setting, press the mode button. And that's now set the countdown timer to 10 minutes. So it's now ready, but we will not start the countdown yet until the rest of the heart rate monitor is configured for our run. Next, we will set up the training watch to use training zone 3 and I will also go into more detail about training zones. Training zones allow you to choose the level of intensity of your workout. There are three automatically calculated training zones as well as a user-defined training zone. Each zone has a minimum and maximum percentage of your maximum heart rate which allows you to work out at the most optimum level depending on your fitness goals. It ensures you don't overexert or not work hard enough in your workouts. Whenever your heart rate is below or above the training zone, the heart rate monitor will beep and the LED indicator will flash red. When your heart rate is inside the training zone, the heart rate monitor will be silent and the LED indicator will flash green. For further information on training zones and achieving your fitness goals, read the included CSX Heart Rate Monitor Training eBook. To begin, you need to attach the chest belt as we demonstrated in the previous video. While wearing the chest belt, we'll press the mode button until we reach the heart rate pulse mode. So if you are syncing the chest belt for the first time, the display will show two dashes while the heart rate monitor syncs with the chest belt. You can see it's synced with my chest belt and my heart rate is currently 75 BPM. In heart rate mode, press the select button until the training zones are displayed in the top section. So press the select button, that's stopwatch, in, memory and zone. So this is the training zone section. At the top, you can see the upper and lower limit for your heart rate in this zone. The training watch is currently using the user-defined training zone and you can see the upper limit is 240 BPM and the lower is 30 BPM. You will need to edit this user-defined training zone to the upper and lower limits you personally require. The user-defined training zone is for more experienced people who have specific training goals in mind. When you are beginning your training, I would recommend using one of the three automatically calculated zones. The training watch makes this easy because it automatically calculates the upper and lower limits of the zones based on your maximum heart rate. And we talked about the maximum heart rate in video one. The three training zones are as follows. Zone one is 50 to 65% of your maximum heart rate. This training zone is for long training with little effort. Exercise in this zone will improve your mental and physical well-being. Zone 2 is 65% to 80% of your maximum heart rate. And this training zone is suitable for athletes who intend to improve their performance and stamina with elevated calorie burning. Zone 3 
is 80% to 95% of your maximum heart rate. And this training zone is ideal for short and very intensive training units. Competitive athletes train in this zone in order to improve strength and speed. So you can choose your training zone depending on your goals and I would recommend reading the CSX Heart Rate Monitor Training ebook and Heart Rate Monitor Manual for further information. I will now show you how to select the training zone that you wish to work out in as well as setting the alarms and maximum heart rate. For our run we are going to select training zone 3. In heart rate mode press the select button until the training zones are displayed in the top section. You can see we've already selected this here. So zone is displayed when you first select it and the upper and lower limits of your heart rate are displayed at the top. While in zone mode press and hold the set button. First of all we will choose when the alarm will sound. You can see the zone alarm symbol is currently flashing. We'll select the alarm type using the select button. If we press the select button, with this option the alarm will sound only when your heart rate exceeds the upper limit of the training zone. We press the select button again. With this option the alarm will sound only when your heart rate is below the lower limit of the training zone. And if we press the select button again, the alarm will sound when your heart rate exceeds the upper limit of the training zone or falls below the lower limit of the training zone. For my run I want the alarm to sound for both upper and lower limits to make sure I do not run too fast or too slow. So we'll now press the set button to confirm. The maximum heart rate now flashes. We have covered the maximum heart rate in video 1 when we set up the training watch but here we can also change the maximum heart rate if we wish. If you recall from video 1 the maximum heart rate calculated by the watch for me was 182 BPM but I increased it to 191 to match my maximum heart rate from my heart rate stress test. We'll press the set button to confirm the maximum heart rate value or you can press the select button to change the value. We'll press the set button and the training zone will now flash. This is where we select which training zone we wish to train in. So currently it's selected the user defined training zone. If we press the select button we have selected zone 1. So you can see the maximum heart rate for this will be 124 and the minimum 96. We press the select button again for zone 2. The maximum is 153 and the minimum 124. If we press the select button again zone 3 the maximum is 181 and the minimum is 153. Before we select zone 3 I will also show you how to edit the user custom zone. So if we press the select button again you can see zone is U and at the moment the upper limit of the heart rate zone is 240 and the lower is 30. For the custom zone as an example we will set this to 75% to 85% of my maximum heart rate. My maximum heart rate is 191 BPM so 75% will be 143 BPM as the minimum and 85% will be 162 BPM as the maximum. You can see we have selected zone U so if we press the set button in zone U the upper limit now flashes. So we'll press the select button to change this to 162. We'll then press the set button and we'll set the lower limit to 143 BPM. And press and hold the select button
and we'll press the set button to confirm. And you see this then returns us back to the alarm option. So I'm going to press the set button again and again and you can see it's currently stored it as zone U as the user defined zone where we will be training between 162 and 143 BPM but for this run I want to select zone 3 so select zone 3 press set and it takes us back to the beginning where we can select the alarm so now to store those settings I'll press the mode button and you can see at the top now in the zone mode it's showing the upper and lower limits of zone 3. So our maximum heart rate for training is going to be 181 and our minimum is going to be 153. We will now turn the training zone alarm on. In the training zone view you will see your upper and lower limit of your heart rate at the top. Press the set button once. You can see the alarm symbol appears and the training zone alarm has been activated. If the heart rate falls below the lower limit or rises above the upper limit the alarm will sound. At this stage you can hear the alarm is sounding along with the red LED and this is because my current heart rate is 65 BPM and it's there to inform you that you need to run faster to raise your heart rate above the minimum BPM of 153 for training zone 3. At this point make sure you've warmed up and you're ready to begin your workout. We're going to start the heart rate mode stopwatch training timer and we're also going to zero the fat burnt and calories burnt to make sure that we just capture the data for this run. Usually what I would do is I would press these buttons just before I'm about to run. So for instance, if you're just walking to a certain point and then beginning your run, I'll press these buttons as I'm walking to my starting point. So what we will do is we'll press the select button. That's fitness level. There you can see calories. You can see calories is currently 320. So we're going to zero this by pressing the set button. Press and hold the set button and that's now zeroed. We we'll press the select button again and this is the fat. So we'll press and hold the set button to zero this. Press the select button again. That's the time and now we're on stopwatch. You can see the stopwatch already has some numbers on it. So again, I want to zero this stopwatch. To zero the stopwatch, press and hold the set button you can see the stopwatch starts to increase its numbers but then it goes back to zero. So you just press and hold that set button for three or four seconds and it will go back to zero. So we are now ready to begin running. So we would press set to start the stopwatch training timer. And we would now begin running. The stopwatch in the heart rate mode has the function of a training timer. We need to use the timer to recall our training data at the end of the run. We're now ready to begin running, so we just need to start the 10 minute countdown timer. So press the mode button, or we'll press the set button to, count the, to start the countdown timer, and we should now start running immediately. So when this beeps at 10 minutes, we will then turn around and we'll run back to our starting point. So we've done a 20 minute run all together. Press the mode button again until we return back to pulse mode. We'll then go for the run. While you are running, you can choose what information you prefer at the top. So you may want to see the stopwatch or you may want to see the zone. So you can see 181 is our maximum and 153 is our minimum. So I really need to start running now because my current heart rate is 70. I'll just turn the beep off there for a moment. So I've pressed the set button to turn the alarm off. So while you are running, if your heart rate falls below 153 or above 181, 
the heart rate monitor alarm will sound and the LED indicator will flash red and while your heart rate BPM is between 153 and 181 the LED indicator will flash green and the alarm will not sound. While you are running the countdown timer will beep after 10 minutes. It's now time to turn around and go back to your starting point to complete a 20 minute fast run. Once you reach the end of the run, and this is one of the most important steps, you need to go back to the stopwatch, back to the stopwatch timer, and press the set button to stop the stopwatch. This is so that when we view the data, it will only show the heart rate data for the time period of the run. If you forget to stop this, then the data will be inaccurate because it will then include the data from when your heart rate is resting. Okay, so I'm now going to go for a 20 minute run and in the next video, I'll show you how to view the data from that run.